Hello there, my fellow fragrance lovers. This is Matthew, aka the Nucleus Cyborg, and it is 5:35 on March or March 20th, Monday. And yes, I usually come to you guys on the weekends when I'm off, but today, uh, today I actually got a fragrance uh, in this weekend that uh, I want to. I'm very excited to share with you. It is one that I've been trying to find, trying to get my hands on. I haven't been able to. And I finally was able to uh, s uh, a couple weeks ago when they had it in at FragranceNet.com. It is uh, La Homme Ideal uh, Eau, de Parfum for Eau de Parfum by Gurlian. Uh, but before I uh, get into that, I'd like to give a shout out to someone on my uh, YouTube. He uh, gave me a comment on, my, uh, on one of my videos. Let's see. No, 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 there we go, notifications. Okay, bear with me, bear with me, I'm trying to find it. Here we go. Okay, yes. Uh, St. Thomas Punch, S-A-I-T-A-M-A, -A -A, Punch. Uh, he gave me a comment on the video I posted a while back ago on your base, Saint Laurent, uh, Le Nouveau de la Home, Blue Electric. So he gave a comment. Uh, so thank you, thank you to him for doing that. It lets me know that at least, some, at least my videos are getting out to some people. Some people do watch them at least, and so, and also I, you know, want to thank all my subscribers. I uh, haven't really kept track, but I'll, I have thirty subscribers now. You know. We, not as much as the, uh, you know, these big time YouTubers, but you, you know, they all got, everybody's got to start somewhere. I'm sure they started with zero just like I did and, and worked their way up. But anyway, uh, so thank you for, to him. Uh, what was it? Sorry. Uh, Saitama Punch, Saitama Punch. Uh, forgive me if I don't pronounce that right. But so thank you for him and for all the all people that have subscribed. So thank you for that. So, but moving on now, I have a. Uh, I was able to get this fragrance in. It came to me this Saturday. Now, uh, I could have given a or could have done jumped on and done a review, uh, about this review and first impressions about this fragrance, but I wanted to give it some time to sit and settle. Uh, I kind of liken it to uh to us to people you know uh jet lag if you've ever taken a very long flight. Especially if you've gone to a flight out of country, and uh, shift uh, adjusting to the time zones and all that stuff, you know you have to get over your jet lag, and so that's what I kind of liken it to. This came from New York, so uh, you know I just wanted to let it sit for a while. It's, it's, it's had at least twenty four hours to sit and kind of like a relax. So that's that, and then um, I could have, I could have, should have, would have this had this fragrance already, but. Uh, I kind of got put off. I've seen Jeremy Fragrance uh, review this perfume a lot, uh, and he's given a lot of good comments about it. But he's given one that's just not—it's just rubbed me the wrong way. It wasn't necessarily a negative comment. He just said because this has leather in it that he says sometimes this this can come across as a a little bit dry. So that uh, well, not necessarily negative, but again, they kind of put me off. So, uh, I didn't get it. I, I, I said it's probably been two two years, at least two years, that I could have I could have had this by then, by now. But I didn't, and so. And then um, I watched this video from uh, Chaos Fragrances. He put uh, a year ago. He reviewed this fragrance. He said the exact same thing I uh, I did about trying not trying not being able to get hold of it. I go to fragrance.net. That's usually my first uh, outlet to get fragrances, and then I go to perfume.com. They were both out, uh, and then um, about a year ago, uh, you know, according to uh, Chaos Fragrance in his video, he was saying that it uh, fragrance.net had finally got it in, finally got it back in, but at that time I had already purchased a fragrance that month, and I try to limit it to only once a month if I get a fragrance, you know. To, save on money uh so i didn't get one 
And by the time the next month rolled around and I had, I had some, uh, some, the money to do so, it was already out. So I had to wait a few more months. And then uh, they got testers in. Uh, and the juice inside, it, they said, was the same as uh, uh, the original, uh, excuse me, the original bottle. But they said that the box that it comes in would have been plain and uh, the cap which I think is a very important part of the uh, fragrance uh, bottle, uh, would have been different. So uh, I think you need a very good cap in here because air is one of the things that can destroy your fragrances. And uh, so you need a good, a good cap uh, on your fragrance. So anyway, that's that. Now let's, uh, let's go for the review. So let's uh, See, on FragranceNet.com, they have a description of this fragrance. Gurlian La Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. Uh, well, it says spray vial, spray vial, but this is not a vial. It's the, the bottle. It's a luxurious fragrance for a smart and strong man. Introduced by Gurlian in the year 2014, the, sensu the sensual top notes of almonds, bergamot, spices, herbs combined with cherry, incense, vanilla, and rose in the middle for an aroma that is absolutely delightful and irresistible. Trailing with balmy and creamy notes of sandalwood, leather, and tonka bean at the base. This masculine fragrance is intense and fascinating. So that's that. There's the description. And um, here's the box. Uh, the bottle is over here. I've already taken it out of the box. A uh, very not very cool box. It's uh, kind of gray, silver. It's got a color, like a metallic uh, uh, look to it. Very cool. Um, you got the you know Gurlian Ideal uh, on the front there. La Homme Ideal on the front. Eau de Parfum uh, concentration there. The sides are have a, a sides on top are black. Um, you have the symbol on the top and the black on the sides. And then you have a few more, a little bit more description on the description, the ingredients and all that on the back, and a few, and a little bit more description on the on the bottom. So there's the box, very nice. And uh, here's the bottle itself, and I think it looks very cool. Uh, you can't see it, but just like the uh, you see that little square inside of inside of the big big square box, you have the La Homme Ideal Gurlian by Paris. And that little little silver metallic square there, uh, around the uh, bo uh, inside the border of the box. That's kind of what this is on the edges. Uh, as you can see, my finger there is like is like uh, right there. It's like indented a little bit in, in inside the uh, engraved or indented inside a little inside the bottle. It's very cool. Very nice feel. Gives it a nice feel uh, to the bottle. And then you have the uh, the same, this is a little bit smaller, but the same uh, Gurlian Ideal by, uh, by Paris uh, right there in the middle. So that's nice. And then uh, I love the juice inside, you know, since it's, uh, it's, everybody says that cherry is very prominent in this in this fragrance. You know, it's it makes sense that it would have a little bit of a reddish, reddish color. Uh, I've seen different colors. But uh, I really like this uh, this soft red cut it color of the uh, juice inside. And this is a 3.3 ounce bottle. See, uh, I paid a hundred and something. Let's see what did I pay? Go to my recent orders. 104.99 for this bottle. Okay, and then uh, let's see. The cap is very nice. It's a little tug. It does, it's not magnetic, but it snaps on really good. And it takes a little a little oomph, a little tug to get it out. So that's that's nice. And you hear that you hear that snap. So you're gonna you know it's gonna protect your fragrance really good. I've already sprayed it inside the bottle or inside the box, the from the bottle into the box. And uh, I worked at I worked out. And I've gotten all the notes that it says in here. Oh wow, it's it's uh, dried down a little bit. I 
tried to make the first video about maybe maybe 20 minutes ago. Maybe, so maybe now it's been about 30 minutes uh, since I first sprayed this into the box. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And the dry down, a little bit, of, once it's dried down a little bit, it's really nice, really nice. Uh, oh, it just went black. Oh, okay, well, I'm back. The screen went black. Sorry about that. Okay. So, let's see. The, uh, go back and let's see if we can get the, again, get the notes in here. We have almonds is the first, uh, note. Now, uh, a lot of people have said that they get this nut, the nutty, nuttiness, the almond from here, but I don't think I get very much almonds in here. No, no, I don't think I get very much almond in here. Bergamot, yes, I get very a lot of bergamot. Uh, spices and herbs, yes, I get a lot of that. Uh, cherry, uh, it, yes, I get cherry, but and it's not it's not a maraschino cherry. It's not sweet like that. This is more like a it kind of reminds me of uh, the cherry with a seed in it. You know, that's that you either uh, bite half of it off and take the seed out and eat, and eat the rest, or eat eat it and spit out the pit. Uh, that's the kind of ch uh, cherry that I get out of here. Yeah, the incense. Yes, you got the incense in here. Oh. Uh, Vanilla and vanilla, yeah, that's gonna be a little give it a little sweetness. Uh, it's got rose. Yes, it's got it's got a little bit of a floral, so that's probably the rose. Uh, then you have a uh, balmy, creamy notes of sandalwood, leather, and tonka bean. Definitely have the tonka bean in there because I mean it's got this sweetness. I'm not sure if I get much leather. Now, uh, Jeremy Fragrance, he's no, he did a video once about uh, uh, fragrances to wear with a leather jacket. And uh, this was on his list. So it's got leather in it. I think I do pick up the leather. It's not very prominent. It's not overbearing. And then the, uh, we got the sandalwood. Yes, I got the sandalwood for a nice creamy... Uh, Creamy uh, base. Very nice. This is a very nice fragrance. I'm glad that I got that. I finally got this in my collection. Uh, and I'm going to probably be putting this on for tomorrow to go to work. Uh, see if uh, see if I get any uh, comments. You know, I've also been trying to get some comments uh, from the, from fragrances. Uh, I recently asked somebody on a, a Discord group that I, I joined about uh, fragrance. You know, yes, I wear cologne fragrances, perfumes, because I like to smell good, okay? Yes, that's the main reason I, I wear a fragrance. But at the same time, a few comments here and there doesn't hurt. I hardly ever get, get comments for my fragrances, the fragrance that I wear for the day. Uh, the only one that I've gotten, I've gotten two comments. One was for... Uh, John Bovato Stock Rebel, and it was from an older woman that I used to work with. I mean, probably old enough she could have been my grandmother, you know. And and then one from a married woman, a friend of the family. Comments, yes, but at the same time, I don't, I don't really think that they count because they were from women that were way older than me and one was married. So, uh, like I said, I don't know if they really count. Uh, so I hardly get uh, comments. I put on there, I asked the question, how many, should I increase my sprays? I'm going for set, I did, was until today. I put 10 sprays on of what I wore today. Seven sprays usually in the past. Excuse, <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Seven sprays in the past is what I usually uh, had been doing. Today, uh... I thought it was going to warm up. It was still cold. It's the first day of spring here in Kentucky. And um, like I said, Kentucky weather, I have more. It's, it's cold, wet, fury. Uh, now, today is actually a nice day. It's, it's still nice, clear, blue outside, but it's cold. It's been still kind of cool. Uh, it warmed up a little bit. It warmed up from about 23 degrees this morning to about, what is it now? It's almost 50 degrees, I think. Temperature, temperature, temperature. Weather, weather, weather. Where's my weather at? 
right here. It's 51 degrees. So it's warmed up a little bit, but uh, I wore today, I wore, uh, what did I wear? Full Extreme Chanel. Allure, Chanel Allure Home Sport uh, Old Extreme. That's what I wore today. I put on 10, 10 sprays. Seven sprays I put on my two on my wrist. So I got wrist, wrist, inside my elbow. So inside my elbow, inside my elbow. One on the back of my neck for a, for a centrail. And then on the sides of my neck, that's on my skin. And then when I put my shirt on, I sprayed two here on my shoulders. And again, one on the back of the shirt. Uh, I, I still didn't get any comments today, you know, but, uh, and then, I don't know, uh, but I put on 10 sprays, uh, anybody watching, does anybody want to, like, uh, uh, give me a comment, what you think, I should, I should be spraying to, to get some comments here and there, uh, I'd very much appreciate it, I'm gonna go, still go with 10, uh, uh, that's one good thing when your fragrance collection starts to grow. You can go a little bit heavy on, on one fragrance because you have, you know, 20, at least 20 in my collection, if not more. I'm just really getting up there now, so about covering my whole, the entire surface of my dresser. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to get off right here. It's, like I said, it's almost 6, and I've been uh, rambling for about uh, 16, 17 minutes here. And, uh, it's the evening, I just got home, so I haven't eaten anything yet for dinner, so I'm gonna hop up on here, uh, and make some dinner. If anybody, uh, got anything that they, uh, uh, they got anything out of this video, if they, uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, like I said, if, if you would just comment, let me know that if somebody's watching, that what I say, you know, is getting out there, people, uh, appreciate it, it you know, you, you've got something from it. Something like that. that. That's all I'm asking, you know. I just, uh, I just want to know that what you know these videos are are getting out and, and possibly helping somebody uh, make a decision. Uh, I just want to I let people know that you know I buy these fragrances with my own money. Some of these fragrance uh, re reviewers out there, uh, Jeremy Fragrance, uh, Michelle Curley, uh, Chaos Fragrance, whatever his name, is, whatever his actual real name is. Uh, Michelle Curly, you know, she's the uh, Curly Fragrance, and then, uh, you know, a few others, you know, they, they have tons and tons, they have shelves of fragrances, this is a, another another one that I watched, Monica Conch, I think is her name, uh, but they have shelves, you can see in their background that they have shelves of fragrances, you know, mine's growing, my collection is growing, but I'm not sure if they, uh, if uh, the fragrance brands send them to them, send them, actually send them fragrances to actually be reviewed. Me, uh, me, I just buy, I watch, yes, I do watch videos, uh, you know, to get some ideas, uh, and then, uh, from what the fragrance reviewers say, I'll, that's the ones I'll go with, and, but I buy these with my own money, uh, and so, uh, I, I have, you know, nobody's telling me how, what to say, uh, I hardly, uh, ever script it, I don't think I've ever scripted a video before, I just wing it, and so, uh, if, if anybody uh, got anything from this video, if they would like, comment, subscribe, I would very much appreciate it. So anyway, y'all have a nice evening. Thank you all for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.